Here with Hofstra head coach Richard Nuttall following the Pride's 4 0 win over William and Mary. Coach, thoughts on tonight's win? Um, we've beaten a very good team, and as you saw, the first 20 or 30 minutes, it was end to end, and, and their, their quality, they were missing a couple of good players. But the players that came in are good on the ball, and, and to be honest, I thought the way they got on top of us after the first 10 minutes, I thought they got on top of us a little bit. But I like that we hunkered down, we set our stall, and we got back to, into a rhythm and doing what we do best, defending well and getting balls in the box and getting on, on the end of things. And uh, a couple of the goals we scored, uh, tremendous, tremendous goals. And uh, finishing goals makes the difference, you know, and it gave us confidence. I think second half we still out the game, but you can see William and Mary are good. They still played to the end, I give them credit, well coached. Um, we'll be seeing them, I believe, at the end of the year, hopefully. And uh, just really, really pleased with the uh, with the level of performance, the finishing, and uh, the character of my team. How about just some of the effort to kind of stick with some of the plays? You, you mentioned it about the goals, kind of like you know uh, how much there was so much effort. But even on you know Luke's last goal, there was it just seemed like you know I had to get through a couple people to get there. But it was the kind of you know stick with it type of never give up mentality. To yeah, able to finish great those. determination, resolve, desire to do well, and I was just so pleased with the guys, the effort they put in, both offensively and defensively. Great goals, great defensively. I don't think Alex has made too many uh, saves actual saves that were critical of where he's had to pull, pull uh, you know, a great stop out. So I think that shows that we, we, we're defending well as a, a group and uh, I'm just happy all round. I, I, I can't really single anybody out. Matt Bowenkel's got two fantastic goals there. Uh, but the, the delivery was tremendous. The one with Storm around the back post, it was almost world class, the delivery. So I'm, I'm pleased with that and uh, just pleased with the whole team. I, their character is what pleases me most and the energy we put out on the field. Now seven straight uh, games with a shutout. What's been the key to the success on defense? This yeah, last I weeks? think it's team defense. We defend with 10 and plus a goalkeeper and you can see to the very end, we wanted to preserve that. As we know, it's the longest in the nation and we wanted to preserve that seven shutout and the guys that came on have got the same energy and wanted to work hard and uh, for us, it, it, it's a badge of honour and we want to keep it going, you know. It's not going to last forever, but we hope it'll, it'll go a few more games, you know. I mean, if you want to talk about one player in particular, someone that stuck out in terms of always being there to kind of come up with a big stop and also help spark a couple plays offensively, Sean Nealis, kind of what, what he's able to bring in terms of, you know, maybe not getting the glory in the stat sheet, but maybe stepping up and making plays when you need it. Yeah, we, we were talking about Sean as a staff today. He's the unsung hero, him and George. They win every header, they win the tackles. I think he, there was a magnificent stop in the first half when it was 0 0, where he stuck a tackle on a shot and he, he just a great block shot. It was tremendous. So, from my point of view, he, he, he's, he's a rock, he's our captain, he's our emotional leader. And, I couldn't be more proud of him. We're going to miss him next year, but uh, he's doing as well this year, that's for sure. Right. Coach, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.